It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi folks, JB here from the Oracle Jet team. In this two-minute tech tip, let's talk about how you can bind HTML, formatted HTML, instead of just plain text in Jet. I was recently working on an update to the JET website, and in this known issues section of the release notes, this table, I was trying to bind in the information for the different rows of the table, and it was working fine with an OJ bind text as long as it was just text. But I really quickly ran into a situation where I needed to work with some formatted HTML, in this case an anchor tag, and that was of course just coming across as text and that didn't work out too well. So if you take a quick look in the JSON data that I'm using here, of course up here it was all fine with just text, but down here the string is actually formatted HTML and it gets pretty complex. Some of these lower ones down here have a lot of different information in them and uh, they can use, you know, um, uh, ordered lists and everything else. It's just it's just a HTML fragment, if you will. Well, Jet provides a utility class called HTML Utils that can be used in conjunction with another type of binding called OJ Bind DOM. And the HTML Utils allows me to pass in a, a HTML fragment as a string, and it will take that string and build an array of DOM nodes out of it. Basically, builds up a template element. And it does it all within this configuration. So I can pass in the view that I'm going to work with, and then I can also pass in data if I wanted to. In this case, I'm just passing in the, the view itself, just the string. How that works on the JavaScript side is I'm pulling in the a dependency on the OJ bind DOM. I'm also pulling in a dependency on this OJ HTML utils. I've set up a class variable for this.html utils so that I can actually use it on the view side. But that's it. It's really that simple. And once you use OJ bind DOM and pass in the HTML, it will build it up and present it for you. Simple as that. Was that a good tip? This is the most fantastic story I've ever heard. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.